Hello students. So far we have discussed the concepts of trigonometric equations which involve the unit circle, principal solution, general solution and we learned the way to find those solutions. Now it's time to implement those concepts. Now I'll be solving questions in two parts which will be involving the concepts that we have learned so far. So some of the concepts would be used in the first part and the rest would be discussed in the second part. So let's start with the first part. Let's start with some examples on the based on the concepts that we have just learned. The first example is that we have to find a general value of theta satisfying both the equations sin theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 and tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3 simultaneously. So the key point is here that we have to solve the equations simultaneously. We have already uh, learned the formula for equations when we have to deal with equations simultaneously. We will just see what we can do in this question. So first we try to locate superficially the quadrants in which the solution may lie. That is sin theta being a negative here would be lying either in the third quadrant or in the fourth quadrant. Whereas if I look at the second equation that would give me a hint tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3 being positive shall either lie in the first quadrant or in the third quadrant. So the common point or the overlapping region of the two solutions or the two solution to two equations would be the third quadrant. In this quadrant my solution shall lie. Now if I try to put it that in that way I shall solve for it further that is sin theta is equal to minus 1 by 2 would give me minus of sin pi by 6 which can be written as when put in third quadrant would be pi plus pi by 6 is equal to sine of 7 pi by 6. For the second equation I get tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3 which in first quadrant can be written as tan of pi by 6. In the third quadrant it can be written as tan of pi plus pi by 6. The sign won't change as the tan is positive in third quadrant again I will get tan theta is equal to tan of 7 pi by 6. Now this is of though the two equations are of the form sin theta is equal to sin alpha and cos tan theta is equal to tan alpha. So the solution to that equation is we have just learned that the solution to such an e equations when simultaneously solved is theta is equal to 2n pi plus alpha. Hence we get theta here is equal to 2n pi plus 7 pi by 6. That's the solution to this equation, this example. Moving on to the next example then. The example says that I have to solve for x. If nothing has been mentioned, then you should try to solve for the general solution. Okay. Now let's see the example is sin square x minus 4 cos x is equal to 1. I can do is I can split sin square x in terms of cos square x so that I get a quadratic equation in terms of cos x which can be solved ahead. I will do the same. I write sin square x as 1 minus cos square x minus 4 cos x is equal to 1. I cannot locate the solution right now in the unit circle. The reason being it's not a simplified equation. I'll first simplify it then I'll try to locate the quadrant. So that gives me 1 would cancel out that leaves me with cos square x plus 4 cos x is equal to 0. Cos x being taken common I get cos x plus 4 is equal to 0. So either cos x is equal to 0 or minus 4. As minus 4 is not possible, reason being cos x lies between for any value of x between plus 1 and minus 1. So proceeding further, I get cos x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2 which is an odd multiple of pi by 2 for which cos x would always be 0. So that's the solution to this example that I, we have just solved. 
Moving on to the next example. The next example says, I have to find the value for x other than 0 lying between 0 and pi by 2 that is acute angle other than 0. Because we can see that the equation contains just sign terms and the most default solution to this equation can be x equal to 0 and we have been told that the solution should be other than 0. Now we will try to find out how we can proceed with that. Now let us say if I try to couple the first sign that is sin 5x and sin 3x I will get the two uh, signs combined to get 2 sin 3x cos x cos 2x plus sin 3x is equal to 0 then sin 3x can be taken common that would give me sin 3x into 2 cos 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 or sin 3x is equal to 0 or cos 2x is equal to minus 1 by 2. Then if I solve this I would get 3x is equal to n pi or x is equal to n pi by 3. On solving this I would get 2x is equal to 2 n pi plus minus 2 pi by 3. Now 2 pi by 3 why 2 pi by 3 because 2 pi by 3 lies in second quadrant where cos is negative. That is why I chose minus 1 by 2 to be written in form of cos of 2 pi by 3 which gave me this equation and from this equation I get the value of x as n pi plus minus pi by 3 hence x is equal to n pi by 3 that is one solution and x is equal to n pi plus minus pi by 3 is another solution. So if I solve for these two I would have pi by 3, 2 pi by 3 and so on and from this I would get if I solve for x for n is equal to 1 I would get pi plus pi by 3 that would be 4 pi by 3 and pi minus pi by 3 is 2 pi by 3. If I solve for n is equal to 0 I would get pi by 3 plus minus pi by 3. So if I now try to match the two, the two sets of solutions that I have that is this one and this one only pi by 3 can be matched and that is the real solution that is x is equal to pi by 3. Why pi by 3? Because there are two conditions that have been put on me that it should be lying between 0 and pi by 2. That is why these values have been rejected. That is 2 pi, 3, 2 pi by 3 was, was present in both the solution sets but it was greater than pi by 2 that is why we rejected it. Moreover, pi by 3 was contained only as a positive in the first set and positive and negative of pi by 3 in the second set. So we chose the overlapping solution that was plus pi by 3 and x was equal to plus pi by 3. If you have any doubts or queries in this chapter, you can post your doubts on the website for free. To do so, type in go to the website askitns.com and the tab discussion board. The next page will have on the right hand side ask expert section where you can post your doubts. Just select the category, type in your question and click get answer. We at ask IITNs will be able to answer your question within 24 to 48 hours. So students in this part we solved some questions based on the concepts that we have learned throughout this chapter till now. We will be solving some more questions in the next part. So stay tuned.